Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Leslie Tucker, better known as the Reseller's Passion, and I will be showing you what sold in all of my stores last week. I think I got to sell in each and every store, and um, stay tuned to see. <laughs> As you remember, in the previous week, I didn't make any sales on Poshmark. This week, I made three sales. The first item was Adidas Gazelle Leather Low Top Sneakers, size 8. I didn't pay anything for these because they used to be my daughter's. So that was free. She paid a long time ago. <laughs> and I think she may even got them from Plato's Closet. So I sold those for $35. Then I sold Naughty Monkey Gray Western Style Boots, size 8. And I had these for almost two years and I was reluctant to give them up a year ago when I could have sold them. But I said, you know what, they'll sell. So I sold them for $39. Report Sierra Fur Line Leather Boots, size 9. I took an offer of $30 for these and I think these were a pair of boots I got from Thomas. So I didn't pay anything for them. So on eBay, I sold um, kids tote Cirrus unisex kids rain boots, size two to three, twenty-five dollars plus free shipping. I got those from a um, the Jomar rain boots, and then I sold a Etienne Agnier. I always it's you know pronounce it incorrectly leather shoulder handbag for $25 as well and that also came from a Jomar um, mid-level handbag box in my Etsy vintage store I sold a um the name of the company is cookie cutter gingerbread man cookie cutter it was a very large cookie cutter you can make snowman or a gingerbread or any type of cookie people and then I sold a vintage Ernie Pill box hat doe skin. I, this is my long SEO title. And um, $35. And I got that in a um, from the bins, actually. And then the cookie cutter, I got that at a retail store for $0.50 cents a year ago. So, yeah, I'm just making good money. <laughs> Okay, so for my Etsy handmade store, I did pretty well. I sold, I think, um, I'll get to that in a minute, I think six sweatshirts. One person bought two sweatshirts. They bought one, then they they found another one that they liked. So they sent me a message and they asked me if I could give them a better deal. But I was already running a sale to the end of the year. So I explained that I didn't want to do that because they were already getting free shipping. So I don't know what kind of deal and I'll let you, I'll, I'll tell you. So the first item I sold to the sit, this person bought two, there, two individual sales. The first one was a white and green tie-dye sweatshirt. And then the other one she purchased was a white and white, blue, and yellow. Um, so the same kind of color. And so each shirt would, was originally $35, but I was running a sale. So it was $35 minus $14. And so she was getting a deal. She had to pay sales tax. So she paid me $22 and 22 cents, 26 cents for individually. So that's like $44 for both sweatshirts where they would originally be 35 plus free shipping. So that's why I didn't give her a deal. So she bought the two um, sweatshirts. Then I had someone purchase four sweatshirts <laughs> in one deal. So the first was a yellow and pink and gray tie-dye sweatshirt, extra large. Then it was a confetti color tie-dye sweatshirt, 2XL. Then it was a blue, green, and purple tie-dye sweatshirt, extra large. And then in a brown, tan tie-dye sweatshirt, 2XL. So the total was $144 minus the $57.60 with the discount. And I made $86.40. And then that includes like free shipping. So that was the handmade store. And so my ebook, I sold five ebooks. This was the last um, week for the um, $8 sale at exactly midnight on New Year's. I put them back up to $14. So I sold the five books for um, $8, five ebooks. 
Okay, drum roll please. So I'm, I sold 18 items and then my total after shipping and fees was $333.40. That's after shipping and fees, that's all mine. $333.40. That's not bad considering my handmade store items and my vintage store items were on sale. I, I ran a sale to the end of the year and now all the sales are gone. So we'll see what sells with everything at regular price. Maybe in a few weeks, I'll run some sales on um, my handmade and maybe on eBay. But for now, I'm happy with my numbers considering it was a holiday week. Thank you.